All right, what's up everybody? You're on date with Third Eye Cam. Today's date is January 22nd, 2020. And the time right now is 7.47 in the morning. Uh, I'm headed west, but I was as I was riding, um, I spotted this planetoid coming through and it's surrounded by this debris field. Now that's down south. The planetoid is actually right here. Uh, it's in the back right here. And this debris field is surrounding it. So once I get into a better position, I will come back and show you what I can. All right, boof. All right, what's up everybody? Back real quick, same date. The time is 10.30. I'm headed south and there's a big uh, cloud looking comet passing through. You can see the end of it, right below the sun. And uh, you can see all the funky little designs in it. It has to be, if not, a spatial cloud on top of our, our our stratosphere. Just looking at that weird pattern. Um, just wanted to show you all that. But I've been watching it for a while. It's been sitting stagnant right here for the past three, four hours while the other clouds pass up under. So you got earth clouds in the front, that fluffiness. And then in the back with the little sharp edges, that's the space cloud or our ionosphere. But I'm just mostly looking at this spiral, like a whirlpool type deal. Like it's harboring, like that's the top of a planet embedded in its cloud. And uh, it just looks like that. And no, to one of my subscribers, I don't have a crazy imagination. I do research and I show this to you all so that you can see what I'm seeing. Whatever world that y'all are caught up in of popularity, attention, and childish things, that's not this guy. Again, I was too much of a United States Marine. And if you don't know what a United States Marine is, go research it. We some very serious individuals, and I was in for 10 plus years. And I'm gonna just say 10 plus, I wanna give you my accurate number, but it was up there. Um, and I don't really play around. So this whole Third Eye Camp page is not me playing around, trying to get some attention or look cute or whatever. This is pure research based on common sense and logic. And I am researching the sky by bringing you these videos to show you consistency and to separate this from that. What's on earth to what is outside of earth. And if I'm wrong, like I said, I shut down my page and go do something else, but we're doing this research for now. So everybody stop with the little foolishness about like, oh, I wake up every day and scratch my butt and play games. So I expect you to do the same thing. No, I used to guard the freaking president of the United States. I've guarded the freaking governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger, on a detail when I was out west on, in California. I've met The Rock, I've met Bruce Willis, and a whole host of uh, famous people, whole host of them. And some of y'all might know Lindsay Lohan met her in Hollywood. The reason why I say this is like, my life uh, is not a game. I don't wake, every, wake up every day and live in, in a world diminished with I wish this is, how about I've done it? I done jumped out of airplanes, I fought in the war zone. Uh, I've done a whole lot of hardcore training where I've had to stand in formation for four hours or more. Can't move, got mosquitoes biting on me because some idiot superior rank of mine says, hey, the mosquitoes gotta eat, so y'all stand there and let them bite you. I've had to deal with this crap, so my temperament is hard the freak core. Marines don't look for comfort, and we research hard. The reason why I'm bringing this to you because some of y'all are acting real slow, and I don't have time for you to slow me down. If you feel like you wanna slow me down, again, you're more than welcome to unsubscribe me and never come back on my page again. I'm not trying to insult you, but I'm doing freaking research here. This is not a game, all right? Not a game. With that said, we'll be back, poof. 